Hi, have you heard the phrases I am going with the flow or she is in the zone or he is in a groove or the batsman is in form? In this episode, let's explore what flow means, what these words mean. Welcome to Mindscape Matters, a channel to discuss mental health and more. I am Dr. Mohan Raj. I am a consultant psychiatrist based in Chennai and I will be your guide as we explore this wonderful landscape together. Flow or flow state was described by Mihaly Robert Sixen Mihaly, a Hungarian-American psychologist in his book Flow the Psychology of Optimal Experience published in 1990. He said that people are happy and creative when they are in a state of flow. Now what is flow? He describes it as a state when people are so involved in what they are doing, nothing else matters to them. And the activity is so enjoyable that they will persist doing it at all costs just for the sheer sake of doing it. Let us explore a little bit about Mihaly's background and what got him interested in this field. Mihaly was a child when World War II happened. He lost two of his brothers in the war. His father was an ambassador for Hungary in Italy and he was stripped of his job. And there was misery of the war all around him. After the war, Mihaly started wondering what made people happy. He started reading many philosophical books. A few years later, Mihaly was in a town in Switzerland and in his own words he said, a particular evening, he didn't have money to go for a movie. He looked at the paper and found there was a talk by somebody on UFO sightings. So he thought to himself, I can't afford a movie. Let me go for this talk and entertain myself by listening about UFOs. The talk was given by none other than a person called Carl Jung. Carl Jung spoke about how the war had traumatized the psyche of the people and he also talked about UFO sightings being a symptom of an illness manifesting. Carl Jung also talked about many other aspects of psychology. And that evening inspired Mihaly to consider a career in psychology, which he pursued after moving to US. Mihaly continued to have the interest of what made people happy. He observed artists at work. Sometimes artists go on painting for hours together, very hyper-focused, without eating, and they seem to be immensely happy. So he started interviewing them. He also started observing and interviewing musicians, sportsmen, scientists, or anybody whom seemed to be enjoying their work. He asked them, to describe a phase in life which made them immensely happy. Out of these interviews came the concept of flow. How does it feel to be in flow? We are completely involved in whatever we are doing. We are focused and able to concentrate. Many of us would have experienced this while doing something we love. It could be creating something like painting, designing something or writing or solving something like a complex math problem or a problem at work. We are able to focus for long hours without getting distracted. Next is we experience a sense of ecstasy, a sense of being outside everyday reality. I am a cyclist. When we start cycling, the first few kilometers we are just getting the hang of it. A little later, we feel immensely happy, I would say ecstatic. In sports cycle, this is called being in the zone. Many sportsmen narrate their experiences of being in the zone. This sense of ecstasy is what draws a cyclist to pick up the cycle the next morning and what makes sportsmen play their game day after day. Next is having great inner clarity about what needs to be done and how well we are doing it. 
for example, a tennis match is on and the player knows what exactly needs to be done. That they have to return the ball to the other side above the net. And if possible, place it in a manner that the opponent will find it difficult to take. That is all that matters in that moment. And the player is also aware how well he or she is doing. Next is knowing that the activity is doable and we have the skills to achieve the task. For example, there is a cricket match on. Dhoni is in the middle. He is aware of the situation. He is aware of the run rate. He knows it's challenging, but he is also aware that he has the skills to achieve it. Even if it means that he has to score a six of the very last ball. Next is a sense of serenity. There are no worries about oneself and there is a sense of growing beyond the boundaries of self. Meditation talks about serenity. In meditation, the person has to do something rhythmic. Now, coming back to cycling, we have rhythmic movement of the legs and cycling is our meditation and it brings in great serenity. In addition, we are surrounded by nature. We are not looking at the nature through the frames of a car window as if we are looking at a TV. We are part of nature. We hear the sounds of nature and this brings great serenity. The same sense of serenity can be experienced in a wide variety of activities. Next is a sense of timelessness. We are completely immersed in work. Hours look like minutes. Many of us would have experienced this, that we are immersed in some work we are doing and suddenly somebody says, five already. And we suddenly realize, oh, I didn't have my lunch. I didn't feel hungry. When you are on flow, sometimes we don't feel the hunger or thirst. We just go with the flow. We enjoy it so much. Architects tell us about times when they start drafting a design and before they know it, there is daylight. Next is intrinsic motivation. What produces flow becomes its own reward. Let me explain. There are three types of rewards, primary, secondary and tertiary. Suppose we are painting something. We are in a flow. We are enjoying the experience. That is our primary reward. Now somebody sees our painting and raves about it, appreciates us and that's our secondary reward. Now our painting is sold for a huge amount. That's our tertiary reward. Now some people think the tertiary reward is the most important and try to pursue that. But what is most important is the primary reward. We should be feeling good about what we are doing because that increases the intrinsic motivation. Now, what happens in the brain while a person is in flow? There has been many studies looking at writers, sportsmen, scientists while they are at work and while they are in flow. And what was found was the frontal lobe acts lesser and lesser while you are in flow. It's called as hypofrontality. Now, many of you know that frontal lobe is the master and controls many of the other brain areas. And when the frontal lobe takes a back seat, the other areas can communicate in a more creative fashion. The second finding is there is more activity in the dopamine pathways while a person is in flow. How do we get more flow into our life? We can experience flow in a wide variety of activities that we do, be it art, sports, or our work. To have more flow at workspace, we need to choose a career which we are passionate about. That way we will have much more flow in our work. We lost Mihaly recently, less than a year ago, but his concept of flow will always live on in our minds. I wish all of you more flow in whatever you are doing. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this, tell four of your friends. 
tell them there is a Tamil version also. Stay tuned because Mindscape matters. Bye.